to you I lift up my soul, O oh my God. In you I have trusted. Let me not be put to shame, nor let my enemies exult over me. And let none who hope in you be put to shame. Let us pray. Grant your faith will we pray, almighty God, the result will run forth to meet your Christ with righteous deeds at his coming, so that, gathered at his right hand, they may be worthy to possess the heavenly kingdom. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the prophet Isaiah. You, Lord, yourself, are our Father. Our Redeemer is your ancient name. Why, Lord, leave us to stray from your ways and harden our hearts against fearing you? Return for the sake of your servants, the tribes of your inheritance. Oh, that you would tear the heavens open and come down. At your presence, the mountains would melt. No ear has heard, no eye has seen. Any God but you act like this for those who trust him. You guide those who act with integrity and keep your ways in mind. You were angry when we were sinners. We had long been rebels against you. We were all like men unclean, all that integrity of ours like filthy clothing. For we, we have all withered like leaves and our sins blew us away like the wind. No one invoked your name or roused himself to catch hold of you. For you hid your face from us and gave us up to the power of our sins. And yet, Lord, you are our Father. We the clay, you the potter. We are all the work of your hand. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Lord, make us turn to you. Let us see your face and we shall be saved. Lord, make us turn to you. Let us see your face and we shall be saved. O Shepherd of Israel, hear us. Shine forth from your cherub and throne. O Lord, rouse up your might. O Lord, come to our home. Lord, make us turn to you. Let us see your face and we shall be saved. God of hosts, turn again, we implore. Look down from heaven and see. Visit this vine and protect it. The vine your right hand has planted. Lord, make us turn to you. Let us see your face and we shall be saved. May your hand be on the man you have chosen, the man you have given your strength. We shall never forsake you again. Give us life that we may call upon your name. Lord, make us turn to you. Let us see your face and we shall be saved. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. May God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ send you grace and peace. 
I never stop thanking God for all the graces you have received through Jesus Christ. I thank him that you have been enriched in so many ways, especially in your teachers and preachers. The witness to Christ has indeed been strong among you, so that you will not be without, it, be without any of the gifts of the Spirit while you are waiting for our Lord Jesus Christ to be revealed. And he will keep you steady and without blame until the last day, the day of our Lord Jesus Christ. Because God, by calling you, has joined you to his Son, Jesus Christ. And God is faithful. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Alleluia. 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 Lord, show your mercy and love and grant us your salvation. Alleluia. 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 A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Be on your guard. Stay awake, because you never know the, when the time will come. It is like a man travelling abroad. He has gone from home and left his servants in charge, each with his own task. And he has told the doorkeeper to stay awake. So stay awake, because you do not know when the master of the house is coming. Evening, midnight, cockcrow, dawn. If he comes unexpectedly, he must not find you asleep. And what I say to you, I say to all, stay awake. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things, visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father, through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven. And by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified, under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day, in accordance with the Scriptures. He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory 
to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who is the Father and the Son, is adored and glorified who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Ah, ah, As we await with longing the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ, dear brothers and sisters, let us with renewed devotion beseech his mercy, that as he came into the world to bring the good news to the poor and heal the contrite of heart, so in our time also he may bring salvation to all in need. That Christ may visit his holy church and keep watch over her always. Be pleased to hear us. Lord, we ask you hear our prayer. That under the protection of Christ, our times may be peaceful. Be pleased to hear us. Lord, we ask you hear our prayer. that Christ may banish disease, drive out hunger, and ward off every affliction. Be pleased to hear us. Lord, we ask you hear our prayer. That as witnesses to Christ's love before all, we may abide in the truth. Be pleased to hear us. Lord, we ask you, hear our prayer. Almighty, ever-living God, who brings salvation to all and desire that no one should perish, hear the prayers of your people and grant that the course of our world may be directed by your peaceful rule and your church rejoice in tranquillity and devotion. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. May the Almighty and merciful God bless and protect us, the Father and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.